How would you like to die, pirate? Hanging? This was one of the most iconic scores of its time, and it's transcended its time. We're in our second decade of pirate's music, and it's not getting old. It's beautiful, and you want to hear it. We have new characters, but Jack is still here. That was a big question. When are we going to use the iconic music that we know and love, and when are we going to go and break new ground? Jeff Zanelli has worked with Hans Zimmer on the score of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. But with the latest installment, Dead Men Tell No Tales, he takes over as composer. Last fall, we visited Sony to watch and listen as his score was recorded. During a break, I asked him how he was going to make the new score sound fresh. I wanted to find a way of sort of modernizing just the sound of it, because you don't have to modernize the melodies, those are timeless. But it's 2017. The new characters afford us an opportunity to bring in new instruments we haven't used yet. Mm -hmm. So you're going to hear a very tortured electric cello showing up that hasn't mm -hmm. really showed up before. When you break out the electric cello, people know you're serious. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, nobody, yeah. nobody will be wondering whether or not Salazar is a bad guy. Okay. <laughs> I like composers who have very strong thematic melodies in their, in their films. He wrote a new theme, a love theme, that is absolutely beautiful for Caio Scottolario, and it's fantastic. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful melody, and we use it quite a bit, and I love it, and hopefully uh, it'll get some notoriety for, for Jeff. I would love if you could give us an idea of what the process is like of setting up a scoring session. So after it's written, the music goes to an orchestrator who takes what I've uh, written, um, which is very detailed, but he translates it into written music. At some point I decide what my group is going to be, and in this case we're, we're actually a 99-piece orchestra. Yeah. You know, it's a huge, huge group. For all of these sessions, I just have three rules. We're here to do great work, we're here to make magic, but we're also here to have fun. So I turn up and like the musicians, I haven't actually seen the scores before we start playing. All the musicians are sight reading, so we just get each piece out and work on it. Then we run it down, then Jeff will say, that sounds terrible or it sounds great or we want to make these few changes here. And we sort of um, massage and get nuance. Do you prefer to not conduct your own scores? Yeah, uh, there's a couple reasons. I like having another set of ears attached to a brilliant mind in the room, you know, but uh, the other is if I'm in the control room, I'm hearing what the microphones are picking up as opposed to what the room sounds like, which puts me one step closer to what the audience is going to hear. I actually noticed uh, you interacting with the, the conductor earlier this mm -hmm. morning, and yeah. you told him, like, okay, th these two bars are the question and this two, these two bars yes. are the answer. I can be specific when I need to, but what I really like to do is give them a direction that allows them to interpret it themselves mm -hmm. and bring something to the party, you know. And the same thing earlier I said, you, know, you should play it like a sunrise. Mm -hmm. you know, that's that's sometimes all you need to say. Right. What are you listening for sure. in the booth? What you're listening for is the thing that's sort of above just playing the notes where they ought to be. Mm -hmm. You know, you're listening for something that's sort of magic. And in this case, uh, I want to feel kind of grit and humanity in the room, in the music. I don't want something sterile. I want something that gets to people. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a gentleman come up today and say, I actually started crying when you played that cue. And I thought, that's what you want. Do you know what I mean? It reached a person. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales opens May 26th. Please share this video, click like, and tell us what you think in the comments. Come back soon, and thanks for watching.